This is the BDO head office. It's a, a project that was um, introduced to us back in 2009 where we did a, a, a proposal where it was quite a bold concept. We took a form of a building and what we did was we actually pulled it apart and, uh, and by that creating very, very interesting forms and shapes. The engineer on this project also employed a 3D, uh, 3D modeling program where um, we took our initial concept, sent it to him, and from that we developed a structural model which then uh, see, uh, worked on and created the forms that you see now. What we did was we worked hand in hand with every single uh, person involved in the team, uh, from the contractor, uh, from the bricklayer, all the way through to the engineer, just to be able to develop and to come up with solutions on the buildability of this building. Uh, so structurally, uh, we use the we, we wanted, wanted concrete for the stiffness the, and the flexibility that you get from concrete. Uh, seeing the shapes of the building, the, all the boxes popping out, it's a it's an easier me medium to work with. Uh, we employed two uh, two different types of material. Um, they were they were based on the merits that they were um, very low maintenance, actually up to no maintenance uh, on uh, and used on the exterior of the building. Um, these two materials consisted of uh, brickwork and also off shutter concrete. Uh, the off-shutter concrete was then textured because we wanted to continue with the forms throughout while with the brickwork, which is another contrasting element, while that is very small modules and the concrete being a very large module, you get a very fine grain in comparison to the very coarse grain of the, of the concrete. So we try to tie those two together. But the face brick is part of this area um, and it was almost, you had to use some sort of a brickwork brick work on the facades and not, not totally separate and make it too modernized with just concrete or just, just glass. So the brickwork was part of this area's uh, development and the whole look of this whole area. Plenty of concrete used, plenty of offshore concrete used, and the concrete is not just architecturally or aesthetically; it's also part of the structural system that, that was done. By employing a a off-shutter system or finish on top of the concrete where we use planks and uh, we put this onto the gang form. Then what we did was we managed to get that, that continuity of the form going all the way from the base all the way up to the top without any breaks in the, in the facade itself. In contemporary architecture you can see that we are going with very fine and clean forms and concrete being a very formable element complements that, uh, that type of aspect. The structure was, it was an incredible journey that we, that we went through with the engineer regarding how we're going to actually make this building stand. Because when moving away those forms or separating those forms, then you are, you're, you're forced to, to then move the structure back in and creating cantilevers and also pushing the boundaries actually of the, the, uh, what is known con in conventional construction to trying to get your form that, that you are trying to create. So from our point of view, just getting everything together, making sure that it actually stands up structurally, uh, making sure that everything is done um, and, and, and safe at the end of the day. That was the difficulty. Yeah. It did take a lot of hours and a lot of work to get a gem of a building in comparison to just having a form. It is a remarkable building, uh, to say the least, and with a lot of care that has been taken in the design of it.